So Andy, mm -hmm. you got a new name I yesterday. Did. Burrito. 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 Can you tell us why? Because when I was sleeping with my food in my hammock, I was all wrapped up like a little burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I would kiss it but I think about all the hands. I, can side. you do that? I didn't get did that in camera. Know? No, this side. Can you kiss the tree? This side. That's the first one. In, is this the first one in North Carolina? Or Caleb. Good. Yeah. Yeah, or three miles, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Trunks, do you like hiking with us? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I think I'd rather hike alone. Is that mean? No, I'm just kidding. It's been okay. It's been okay. I sought the Lord, and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Yesterday, we met someone by the name Kula, trail name Kula, and he was part of Warrior Expeditions, which is basically an organization that takes ex-military out on trail, ex-veterans, and I believe the reason for such is so that they can help them deal with trauma, PTSD, and I totally get it. This is such, such a healthy place to be. Such a healthy experience. All the vibes around you are positive. But the fact that we're getting the exercise in every day and we're paying so much attention to the body and then having to pay so much attention to the mind. It's so healthy, so good for you. Some of the other hikers are referring to our group as the school bus. And someone else said that we were like ducklings because we walked together. And then someone else suggested that one of us was Snow White and the rest were the dwarves. <laughs> Which I mean, the end of the world is Yeah. It's only half. Eight feet. This is our campsite for tonight under the trees because I think we think it's due to rain this evening just over here there's a bear alert on the tree so it says they recommend people having proper food storage i.e. a bear canister which I have but only two of us have bear canisters the rest of the gang have to hang their food and they say here that the bears in the area have figured out how to get the food bags down and that they often come pretty much every night it's a good idea if you don't want to get, want to get off get your mat. Food, so we just grab the stick off the ground. I bet a bear peed on that. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> bear pee it adds flavor, right? It don't matter. That's, that'll keep the bear away from me. Yes. Mm -hmm. He'll think I'm a, well, or he'll think I'm a what challenge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're going to just look at you and think, no, we're not going to fuck with that guy. No. But I do What are you having for dinner, Trunks? I'm gonna have oodle noodles with pepperonis. Is that like instant noodles? Ramen noodles? Yeah, ramen. Ramen chicken. With slices of pepperoni. With shrimp. Nice. Mm, I'm doing that tricking. Yeah, but it, it, I was upset. The average is a free reading. Yeah. Fettuccine Alfredo. I'm trying. But I'm trying, I put too much water, so now I'm trying to evaporate some of this water out.
There she is. <laughs> I hate you so much. Holy smokes. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being steep, how steep was that? Can I go above 10? This is Amelia's tent just here and it's a good example of what we call a pack explosion. As you can see everything is neatly laid out in a mess so that she won't be able to find anything she needs when she needs it. What did you say was your favourite thing about hiking the Appalachian Trail? The freedom of it. What about the freedom? Just every day is you wake up and you get to choose what your day is like. And it just feels very free. Being out in the woods and not having to worry about all the other things in life. <laughs> Quick tour of the house. As I come inside here, you'll see I am in my sleeping bag. This is my backpack beside me. I have my Sky Goat fleece ready to put on for when the temperatures drop this evening. And then up here, I have made with an elastic band a clothesline. <laughs> this is my shirt, my socks and my underwear, which I wore on the trail today. And at this end, I have a nice comfortable pillow and a woolly hat just behind, which I will surely put on later on. And then, as I turn the camera around, you'll see the view for this evening. Another night in the woods. Was there something that inspired you to want to hike the Appalachian Trail? Um, my husband. He, he's always wanted to do it, and he was like, I've had tons of adventures in my career, so why don't you go have one of your own? So this is for you? Yeah, it's for me. And you have three kids? I have three, yeah. And what do they think about you hiking the trail? Um, I think they think it's pretty cool. My youngest son's teacher, is, um, she, she put on a slide show for the, his whole class, so. Very think, proud. Yeah, I think he's really proud. Well, I think they're all really proud, but. And while you're out here, do you sometimes worry about not being there with them, even though their dad is there? I get mom guilt all the time. Like, whenever I'm thinking and walking by myself, I often think of that. But then I'm like, I'm also teaching them lessons by being out here. And is that one of the things that pushes you through, pushes you on? Yeah. If anything, it'll help me get done quicker so I can get back to them quicker. <laughs>
lot of rain last night. Back on the trail. Head good, body good, feet good, heart good, all good. Let's go.